Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is another um, exciting video where I will be teaching you how to manipulate background, okay, in Photoshop. Um, this is very simple, but there are some things we need to understand when it comes to manipulating the background of your image. I've seen a lot of people messing up their image because they just want to manipulate the background, they want to change the background and then they end up destroying the image, okay. Um, for you not to, for you to avoid that um, mistake, while taking the picture, you should have in mind the kind of manipulation you want to do. So you must take a picture that will match the kind of manipulation you have in mind. Have it in mind what you want to manipulate in the picture. Plan the manipulation while taking the picture, so that you will intentionally. Take a picture that will match the new background or the new uh, prop you want to add. If you were not the one that took the picture, for example, you are given this kind of image and the client wants you to change this to, to probably, um, the client wants you to change background to a railway, okay? Looking at this image, if you want to put this person on, on a railway, you want to change the background to that of a railway, you need to consider the weather under which this picture was taken. So this is the original image. It was taken during the golden hour. It was taken in the, in the evening when the sun was just about to set. And that's why you have it looking warm, okay? You must not change this picture to a cold weather. It will, you, it will give you problem. Okay, so let us crop this um, um, model out of the out of this background so you can press w and then select image up here then wait for it wait for photoshop to automatically crop out the image okay now that we have the image selected um i'll press ctrl j on the image so that i will still retain the original background in case i need it for anything okay so we now have our model cropped out of the background. So um, the next thing you want to do is to import the new background you want to add. Okay. Remember I said, what if the client requests for a railway as the background? Okay. So let us go to my background. So I have, um, so this is um, a railway. It is just an ordinary road. So this is one an abandoned rail, uh, railway. This is another railway. So out of the okay, this is another one, but not that clear. Okay, this is another one. This is another one. Now I I have selected different backgrounds that I can use, but but considering the original weather under which the picture was taken originally. Considering this weather, the only one that can work is this, because this is when the sun, because the sun in this um, background is, is is about to set. This is this is another golden hour background, okay, and these will match. But imagine me putting that image on this background. This looks like 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 um, an early morning picture, okay. So let let's put this on. Let's drag it in. And drop it on the background and let us, let us see what we will have. Look at this. This is not good. Okay. So this is how some people mess up their image because you just think manipulation is uh, in photo because Photoshop can can you know manipulate any 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 anything you, you have in mind. Actually, you can achieve anything you have in mind in Photoshop if you're very good. But as a photographer, you don't need to damage your image with a lot of manipulations that are not necessary okay so for this kind of image just look for a background that will match the weather and you will be good okay so let us add this which i think will match perfectly okay so look at this yes so look at the ref look look at look at the um, reflection of light on the model because of the original background you know, coming from here, look at this reflection of light here. And the same thing is happening here because we can see light coming from behind 
the model in the new background okay so to me the only thing i think you can you can do to this background is just adjust and go to your adjustment select you and saturation and just do a little manipulation you know like adding lightness to it to match the image it isn't the um what is it called the saturation a bit yes with a little touch from from this we are good Maybe to do much i can match this together now i'm done with the color the next thing is um depth of feed because looking at the original image there is depth of feed okay look at the background looking blurry let us mimic the same thing on this new background okay so let us duplicate this by pressing ctrl j okay and then the new layer um the duplicate let us um add gaussian blur to it okay i think we are good with this now the next thing we want to do is to erase the gaussian blur okay so press e on your keyboard set the size to whatever will work for you and then you can reduce the brush to the flow of the brush to 55 the opacity to something around 59 okay and then erase this part okay so the depth of field can you know look look more real um you know depth of field is gradual depending on distance okay so not just have everything all blur like that okay uh, but this way i think we are good you can match this together probably drag it and we are good okay we have the image on um, on 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 a, on a railway with the same weather and good depth of feed okay so this is the before and this is the after so when it comes to manipulation try not to do much so that you do not damage the image okay try not to damage the image very important if i'm to manipulate this picture for the sake of tutorial i i was actually rushing i would have done i would have done it better than this but the main focus of this video is that when you're manipulating your background try and let it not be far from the original background any prop you want to add make sure that the prop fits in well okay into the picture there are certain props that can never fit into this image for example you want to add fish there is no water so why would you want to add fish you want to add broken glass why this is, this is an outdoor image so why do you want to have a broken glass on this but some people just put everything on the image because they because they because they're using photoshop is not right okay so when you're manipulating your image try to mimic the original background that way you will have a very real image that nobody can question how you achieved the results thank you